Hey! Hello, everybody! I'm going to wait a second and see if everybody pops on. I am trying to get my phone to, to sit nicely here. Don't you love these amazing banners? <laughs> I'm just waiting to see. Waiting to get a couple more people to pop on. I have some amazing, amazing news that I cannot wait to share. I need one of those phone holders. <laughs> All right, who's with me? Say hello. I'm just waiting to see. Hey. I cannot see who's popped on, but um <clears throat> Can you guys I'm just Hey, Marianne. I'm so excited you're here. I was going to do this on my computer and then I realized that my, um, my phone had a better camera. <laughs> All right. So, um, I'm going to get started. So one of the things that I hear people talk about the most is emotional eating, struggling with emotional eating and what, you know, what the answer is. And the thing that I want to kind of talk about today is that there's like no specific magic bullet for emotional eating. Um, why? Because people are emotional eating for various reasons. Um, so for some people it's stress, for other people it's career, for some people it's for, you know, an old relationship. Sometimes it's dealing with old issues, but the, the core reason is something underlying. Like emotional eating is a symptom of deeper, deeper issues. So, um, in my work over the last probably six months to a year, people have been asking me like, you know, this is really hard. Um, you know, when they go to support groups, they feel supported, but they're like, you know, I, are people actually really going through this? Because in my one-on-one -on -one work with people, what I see come up is, it's like I'll see themes throughout a specific week where people will have literally um, like similar issues where they're emotional eating and it's for similar reasons, but they're like, I know I'm the only one or, you know, they degrade themselves or, you know, a lot of negative self-talk. And I'm like, no, you, you're, this is, this is the norm. Like this is something that you're going through. And so the reason I'm talking about this is that over the last, again, six months to a year, I've had people say, you know, I want to go deeper. <clears throat> and a lot of people who are um, in like working one-on-one, -on -one, they're obviously going deeper and they're getting work. But then there's another part of individuals who are like, yeah, I want to go deeper, but it's scary. And so what I want to do is help people demystify that scary so that they feel ultimately supported, right? And so a lot of things that come with the emotional eating are things like self-sabotage, um, again, lowered self-esteem, because if you're going back into old habits, and it, and it doesn't always have to be, let's say, emotional eating, but that's the, the topic that I'm specifically talking about tonight. Um, but it could be, oh, this happened or that happened. And then again, it, it could come from a place of emotion where they're denigrating themselves and bringing themselves down and then, okay, well, why not? So then it's like they're inside your head, you're negotiating with yourself and it's part of that old self instead of really looking at, wait a minute, what do I want? So what I have found a deeper need for is another level of support beyond the the support group systems that are out there because I want people to be able to like link together to kind of form like a sisterhood where there is another layer of support um, beyond what is what you're allowed to get into in, in the support groups and the support groups are drop in and so I wanted to provide something that was of a greater accountability something that is actually 
um, digging into the emotional stuff where you can actually say, oh my gosh, that's why I'm doing this. I want to shift. I want to change. I want to do this instead. And I want to finally get underneath my stuff and move past it. Like I'm, I'm seriously tired of repeating these cycles. And so that's kind of where I'm at today, which is why this is such a huge announcement for me, because for me, this is the birthing of something that I have kind of been ruminating on for the last six months to a year. And that is, da, 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 drum roll please, um, the Bariatric Mindset Group Program. And this is something that I have gone back and forth on because I'm like, this is something that I know would go so much deeper and would provide so much support, emotional support, that I know a lot of people aren't getting. And whether people are not getting it because it's just not out there, because there's actually nothing out there like this for this community at all. And hey, Barb! So there's nothing out there. Hey, I already said hi to Marianne. Hi, Marianne. So there's nothing out there for this community like this. And so that's why I wanted to create it. So um, I basically am creating live calls. So two live calls a month. And my group program is going to be three months long. It's going to be seven sessions. And it is going to have two calls per month. Um, actually, they're going to be four calls per month because I'm going to have an evening time and a day time. So, um, and then the evening times and day times are interchangeable. Um, and they are going to be recorded calls and anybody who's in the program gets those calls. Um, but they only go to the people that are in the program and only the people that are in the program. Um, like once you're in, you're in, like, I'm not opening it up. It's a closed group. And the reason for closed groups is that I prefer closed groups is that when you have people pop in and pop out of a group, it doesn't really service the members. Like as, as I've done, um, therapy for, for many, many years, I've preferred closed groups over open groups because when people pop in and pop out, you don't know who that person is. You don't know if you can trust them with your stuff. And um, although this is not going to be a, a therapy group, it's more of like a coaching group, I still prefer closed groups because I prefer confidentiality. Like if, if I'm going to put my stuff somewhere, I want to know it's in a safe space. I want to know the people who are going to be in there consistently. And so that's why I've created this like from my heart and soul because the same people who start are the same people who end. And... Um, I think that that's what creates a really flourishing environment because you know what somebody's dealing with. And when you're in a closed group and let's say somebody's like, wow, I'm really struggling because um, my dad is sick or my mom is sick or this is something that I'm going through. Then you've got like all of these people that kind of are ready to surround you to go, hey, so-and-so, what's going on with your dad? Hey, so-and-so, what's going on with your mom? But it may not be something you want to post on your Facebook page. It may not be something that you feel comfortable talking about in, in a in a day-to-day, -day, like in a normal support group. Because I don't know what kind of support groups you're in, but, you know, sometimes they're drop-ins. Sometimes they're, you know, they can be super supportive, but this goes beyond that layer of support in that you're going to be sharing a lot deeper stuff like, okay, um, for example, I have quite a few clients who are like, I'm night, I'm a night eater, right? And so they'll come in and they'll be like, I'm a night eater. So first of all, <clears throat> that's something that, okay, that's not very deep. But if somebody tells you I'm a night eater because I get stress at night because I'm super like I get super anxious that the day is over and I have to go back to work tomorrow because my boss is going to yell at me and I hate my job but I have to keep my job in order to support my family and I'm dying inside like not 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 everybody's going to share that especially if they have coworkers and stuff like in their circle or um I'm really I'm really dying inside my marriage and like you're you're only going to share those certain things if you know that this is a private sacred space and that you have people who are like supporting you and also guiding you in terms of doing what's best for you like let's let's look underneath that and go 
you know, where are you? How can we help you to make healthier choices? And using tools and strategies that aren't, I would, I would say that aren't readily available that I, I have to know somebody's situation before I give them like a specific tool. Like in the online space, like I can give somebody tools that um, are kind of like more generic. Um, but when you're like, if somebody's in a group program where they're live and they're talking to me one-on-one -on -one and they're like, okay, Kristen, so this is what's coming up for me. This is what's happening when I'm eating. This is what's happening when I'm on autopilot. And then it's like, okay, so let's use this tool and then come back and tell me how that worked. Like that's a whole lot more like a one-on-one -on -one than it is, um, in in just a in just a support group. And so what I want to create is this is this um deeper deeper level of support that is not just support. It's accountability. It's going, "Hey, are you using the tools?" And when somebody goes, "Oh yeah, I forgot." It's like, "No, you don't you don't get to forget." <laughs> like that's why you're here. Like we're going to push you. Like we're going to challenge you. We're going to get you to where you want to be, but you don't get to say like, "Oh, I forgot" or "No." Like this is this is a place where we're going to like seriously kick butt, but we're not going to kick butt on like yes, there's like water and exercise and making sure you get your food and those are basics and I get that, but hey Nikki, but what <clears throat> what I want to go deeper on is the stuff that people aren't going to post like anywhere. Anywhere. Like I I want to dig deeper underneath there cuz honest to god, it's not the water and it's not the food and it's certainly not the sleep or the exercise that is actually causing the problem. Those are symptoms. Those are byproducts. The reason you're not getting the water in, the reason you're not eating right, the reason the exercise isn't happening has to do with this. It has to do with the stuff underneath. It has to do with the emotions. It doesn't have to do with, oh yeah, I need to get my water. And if it was just that, like I have a support group right now I can, I can send you to. <laughs> that I'm happily to send you to because I know they will take care of you. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. But if you know that that is not the issue, you know, or if you know somebody else in this group, or if you happen to be watching this on the replay, if you know, and I sound like I'm preaching right now and I know that. But if you know that it's not about the water, that it's not about the um, the exercise or all that other stuff, it's deeper than this is for you because that's what this is about, okay? That's what this is about. I am going to bring Nikki on camera because she's she and I are, this is, this is the exciting news that I want to share with you guys. Okay, can I, can I bring you on? I'm going to bring her on. So this, this is, um, oh, hey, you're driving. <laughs> hey. No, I am parked. I'm okay, in a parked good. car. I'm safe. Yes. Y'all, if you don't know who this is, this is Miss Nikki from my bariatric box. Hi, everybody. Woo, woo. So I, I am just actually telling them about the program, and I haven't, like, gone in full detail. I'm just telling them, like, we're, we're going in, we're taking a deep dive, we're putting the snorkel gear on, we're putting the tanks on our back, <laughs> that, that, it's, that it's deep, okay? So, so here's why I brought Nikki on, and I'm so excited. So um, I haven't given you guys links yet. I haven't given you guys even all of the details. I'm just so excited. But the reason that I'm bringing her on is that, do you want to Do you want to share? Go ahead. You take the, you okay, take okay, the, okay. I'm so the first 10 signups of the program of this group program, Nikki has, has, has offered every, the first 10 signups for this program are getting a one month subscription to my bariatric box. Yay. So that's why I'm like, so that's why I'm like so excited because this is, it is going to be incredible in terms of the emotional support and in terms of the accountability, in terms of the deep dive, in terms of the healing, in terms of like 
the strategies, the tools, and like the results that people are going to get are, are phenomenal because I know that the results that I get with people one-on-one are phenomenal, are phenomenal. So what, what Nikki provides in the, my bariatric box are all the other tools, right? You get to try the different proteins and, and the different, like, I know you have different stuff in your box. So I'm not even going to try to explain like, but maybe you can tell them what's going to be in the box. Right. So in April box, we're actually trying something new this month. Um, we had some cedar planks and I may even have one riding around here. I, um, so we have these cedar planks from Wildwood Grilling. And so the idea behind that is that, you know, when, when you're doing this whole lifestyle, a lot of people have indicated to me that they kind of feel left out of the world because there's so many things For going sure. on, like food, like with Tasty popping up in your Facebook feed all the time. Yes. Um, <laughs> but it's like, it doesn't have to be disgusting. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> You know, you're not you're not doomed to like you know dry chicken breasts for the rest of your life. So, what my bariatric box tries to do is like make it fun, make it exciting every month. Um, I look through literally hundreds of products every month, and I try most things to um, make sure that they're that they taste good. At least mm-hmm. to me, if it has peanut butter in it, then. Um, I'm not tasting it because I don't like peanut butter. But other than that. You know what, though? But that's the thing. Within all the protein stuff that I see, like, I'm, I like peanut butter, but I get peanut buttered out. And I imagine that other people get peanut buttered out because they always pair chocolate with peanut butter. And so a lot of stuff for protein and the for bariatric peeps, I, I've noticed that there's, like, it's like peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. Like, we got to have some other flavors. Yeah, and it's, I mean, and there's so much that's available, what, um, but it's not ne- necessarily marketed toward us. So I spend a lot of time looking for things, um, or I find a lot of things that are marketed to bodybuilders, for instance, yeah. because they have similar needs or similar desires in what they're having. So low sugar, high protein type things. And so I'm going and I'm scouring and I'm looking for all those things. But, you know, not only, it's not about just protein bars and protein powders. Um, you know, like, for instance, we're doing the cooking. And I um, there's actually a packet of seasoning that um, I worked with a chef from Canada to, oh, um, wow. to bring into the box. And it was like, and I'm a Louisiana girl. I'm here in central Louisiana. I'm from south Louisiana. And it's like, you know, eating is just... You know, it's just a big part of the culture here. And so I was really impressed with this. Yeah. And it's like to make it easy and to make it um, delicious. And I mean, the easy part is um, is what I find that most of my customers are looking for. Like you'll see, um, I have to make sure I feed these little people. That's who just got, got in and out of the back seat. But it's like, you know, just to make sure that we can put all those pieces together. And that's why I'm so excited. Um, I don't know if Kristen told you, but I'm like, number one, I want to sign up. I want to be part of this program because we have, I mean, we're serving the same audience, but in very different ways. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, we've talked, she, she and I've talked in at length about what, what this is going to be about and really what I've seen a lot with the people that I work with is kind of like, and I even put this on the site and I'll give you guys the link so you guys can check it out and see what I'm talking about. But like time management and productivity, like people, like who talks about that? Who talks about time management and productivity? But that is kind of like, that is part of it. But then there's that underlying layer of self-sabotage that doesn't have anything to do with that, but it has to do with emotional resistance. It has to do with you know, serving others, which we do need to do. And I actually did a live um, yesterday in a, in another group. And I was saying like, you know, we give so much of ourselves to other people yet. Um, and I know this pops up a lot. It's like, we have to put our own face mask on first. Like we have to take care of ourselves. And when we don't take care of ourselves, we certainly can't take of other, take care of others. And if we're not taking care of ourselves, then, you know, where how are we going to take care of others long term and if we're not if we're not good then we're just going to call kind of fall back into these old patterns and then it's 
we, you know, I'm going to use the term again, self-sabotage, but what's going to end up happening is people end up going backwards. And yes, the food is important. And I was saying this before. Yes, the water is important. Yes, the exercise is important. But the reason that it stops is, is like we say it's time, but it's because it's not a high priority. And it's something else has taken priority. And so it's important that we go, okay, if this is like our lifeline, then we've got to get underneath what's going on. And if it's chocolate at nine o'clock at night, or if it's, you know, eating whatever at nine or 10 o'clock at night, like over and over and over that's causing regain, or if you've already gotten to regain, or if you're struggling with losing regain, like these are all issues to kind of get underneath the problem um, because the whole, I, I respect and get on board with the whole back on track thing. However, when I see people talking about pouch resets, like I start to get concerned because that puts us back in deprivation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a pouch reset, like is going to F with your mind. Cause the whole time you're drinking, you know, shakes, you're going to be thinking like steak you know, or whatever. Like you know exactly. What I mean? It's especially because we can't like i used to i had this thing under control at all times before i had kids but then you know now it's like their stuff is in front of me and so like it takes a different chicken nuggets mac and cheese like i'm just saying like that's it's it's hard yeah and it, it's right there and so it's like when you when you're drinking like so i could you know i i, I don't do the resets either but if um you know Anybody can do it for a few days. Anybody then, can do it for a few days before you go cray cray. Right. But then what do you do? Like, are you going to just do that forever? Um, it's not right. sustainable. Right. There's the word I was looking for. It's not sustainable. And so, and then you find just, oh, is that my signal? You're still here. Oh, okay. So, and then, you know, you, you, you find yourself in the same boat. Um, interestingly enough, today I, I made a post about what people are struggling with. Like, what is your struggle? And, um, and it's, you know, it's emotional eating. And so it's like, you know, it's not, um, I think this is big that people realize that it's not something that's unique to them and there's help, um, available. Yeah. I hear. <laughs> yeah. No. I hear this girl. No, it's, it's, um, so what I, I just wanted to kind of share what, what we're doing. So I've got um, what I've put into this group so far, so everybody can know, because I know people are like, okay, so what are we doing? What is it? <laughs> so um, obviously the theme is going to be emotional eating, but underneath that, it's kind of like mindset, like what what's going on in your head? Also, of course, gaining the tools and the strategies, but also getting the accountability and the support using the strategies. Because I do have clients that come in that are like, dog ate my homework. And it's like, the thing is, is that again, even with one-on-one -on -one work, if I don't see anybody from like once a week or once every two weeks, like it, it takes them that long to go, oh, I didn't do this. So in this group setting, there's that additional support that goes, hey, I got my homework two days ago, like, and I'm not doing it. And I'm really frustrated with myself. And then that's why I'm also adding this private secret Facebook group, right? For, for members only, right? So that you can kind of post in there and say, like, I need to be held accountable on this. Like I'm slipping and sliding or, you know, I even had a client um, two days ago who she was like, I'm a really horrible client. Like, I can't believe I'm not doing this stuff. Like, da, 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 da. And I, you know, I called her out and I was like, listen, you, you want to change this. And I know that you want to change this and you calling yourself a horrible client and all this other stuff. That's a diversion. Like that's a diversion, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? Cause she's like, she's like having a pity party. And I'm like, no, like we're going to get up on this and you know, here's the tool and strategy that you've got to use. And I want it back in two days. Like I want your homework. So this is the level of accountability that people need, but people need that with love and encouragement, not shame. And so I don't see any shaming places out there, but I think the traditional diet world, like in the traditional sense is very shaming. Like, why can't you just, and that's not what I'm about. That's not what this is about. It's literally about shifting the focus away from what you don't want towards what you do want, knowing that when you do 
dig deep. And that's what happened with this girl two days ago. We did, we started like, and then she was like, oh my gosh, yeah. oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then the self-sabotage started coming up and she's like, I can't believe this. Cause I've been working with her since December. And she's like, I can't believe that this is, this is really coming up. And like, maybe I'm just not meant to go past this point. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> like, no, we just, <laughs> we're just getting in there. Like, we're just getting started. Like, this is, but she's like, this is hard and it hurts. And I'm like, but that's okay. Because once you dig into this and you move past it, like, imagine where you'll be. And by the end of it, like, she was like, thank you. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for not letting me quit on myself. Right. So sometimes just facing what it is, is like, is like the, the hardest part, right? Just to like, look it in the eyes. And like, you have to deal with it for it to be sustainable is what I'm hearing, right? Yes. Yes. You've got to deal with it. Otherwise, it's like, it keeps coming back up. It's like, it just keeps coming back up. So um, the, the metaphor I think of, and I don't know if anybody else anywhere else in the country is going to get this, but um, down in Louisiana, we've experienced a few hurricanes. And so if you have a hurricane and you get your house flooded and, um, you know, mold starts growing in the house. Yes. And if you don't get rid of the mold and you just paint over it, it looks great for about two weeks. And then it comes back. You have to like go, you have to, you have to like gut the walls and get the bleach and go inside the walls and make sure the mold is dead. Yeah. Before you can do that. So I don't know if that's like, no, I don't know if perfect else, like, analogy. That. that is a perfect analogy. Like it comes back like in full force, <laughs> like it comes back. And it can literally kill you like this, this mold, this like black mold that will literally, right. I mean, you'll have health implications. So I think, you know, that's the way I put it in my head. Sorry, I thought I heard the door. No, that's totally, that's totally true. So, um, okay. I know you have to go feed your, feed your, um, your gremlins. I, I know my gremlins probably out here waiting to, um, so private secret Facebook, Facebook group, weekly office hours with Q and a, so I'm in the group, um, bi-weekly worksheets dedicated to our topic, to what we're working on. Um, and then I have coaching accountability and support. So I'm going to be doing zoom calls. If y'all don't know what zoom is, it's basically <clears throat> where you jump on the call with me, kind of like how Nikki and I are talking, but it's not a Facebook live, but there's a, a zoom call where I send out the link. Everybody pops on, you could pop on your phone. You could pop on from your computer. It's super easy. Um, actually, Nikki and I did a Zoom call on Saturday, which I'm going to post in the group because she asked me some really amazing questions. And I will post that video for everybody to see. Um, but a Zoom call is super easy. And you do not have to have your video on. You could be in your bunny slippers. You could have your hair all, like, you know, messed up. It doesn't matter. No, like this. No, no. <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking like this. Because <laughs> I feel... I feel hot mess today, <laughs> but, um, and then our, um, program bo bonuses. So that's why I had seven sessions is that I'm, I'm in, whenever you sign up, there's an orientation packet where you're kind of asked individual questions on what your specific goals are, what it is that you want to work on, like not just emotional eating, but what's going on with you. And then our orientation session is next Wednesday from seven to eight 30, um, and then, so our evening sessions are going to be seven to eight thirty on Wednesdays, and I will send you the link so you can see what dates they are. So we have two in May, two in June, two in July, and one in August. And yes, we bypass Fourth of July, so um, we don't have to worry about that. Um, there's an accountability partner program that if you want to participate in, and 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 of course, if you're one of the first ten, you get um, one. Uh, month subscription to my bariatric box, but then everybody gets a hard copy of the third accountability workbook. And if you already have one, you're getting another one. Um, but this is going to be part of the. Yeah, I have one. Yay! <laughs> you're going to be part. Um, you'll get this. Um, and that's why in the intake packet, I ask for everybody's address so that I can send it out. Um, and so I will send you guys the link if you're interested. And just remember, um, the first 10 people 
who sign up are part of the program. So I've actually created, it's three months and I have a three payment option and a one pay option. Um, and you've got until the first, May 1st to sign up because we're going to start on Wednesday. And, um, oh, and the second question that I've been asked that Nikki asked, what happens if I can't make it live? All the sessions are recorded, but only the people that are in actually get the recording. And I would post it in our private group. So you have the ability to download it. Um, and if you can't attend Wednesday night, you can attend Thursday morning. Um, and if you can't make either, you'll get the, you'll get the recording. Um, but this is so I can have an evening one and a morning one to kind of fit the different schedules. Cause I have clients that are like nurses and realtors and they work night shift and they would rather have, you know, something that is during the day. So Nikki, have I answered? Have I, have I not shared anything? Oh, I didn't say what the price was. Okay. So it's three payments of $97 a month or one payment of $269. Now, I have something to say about this. Group counseling anywhere is a minimum of $50 a session. A minimum of $50 a session. And Nikki and I worked it out on our last video. How much mm -hmm. is it per session? It's like $41. Like $40 or something? 40, like $41 and change. $41 and change per session. And even less than that if you pay for it in the one sum, right? It's 30 something dollars if you pay for it. Yeah, if you pay in the, single in the, in the one sum, it's $269. So it's three months of this incredible support. Um, honestly, like, again, most psychotherapists and psychologists don't offer their group programs like for less than $50 a session, but you're not just getting the session. And that's the point. You're getting so much more than the session. And so that's why I'm chuckling. Cause I'm like, it's, you know, for what we're doing. Um, I know I'm offering this at an absolutely ridiculous rate, but that's because I love you guys. I want to see you succeed. And this is, this is really going to be something amazing. Um, because I know that with this level of support, people are going to like, shift it's just it's just gonna happen and that's why nikki's like okay so um i need in on this <laughs> right right i'm like number one sign me up don't even don't don't tell me so i w i'm like whatever whatever is whatever it's costing i'm being there and then like what i also love about this because i've paid for other group sessions that address emotional eating but as um as you know we had discussed before yeah it's, it's different for people who've had bariatric surgery. The, you know, the, the issues are deeper. And what I love about you is that you've been there. You walk the walk and you have what I like to call the receipts. You've, um, you know, you, you studied this and you know this. Mm -hmm. um, I just noticed people were commenting. For some reason, I'm not seeing them on my phone. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. I haven't seen your comments. Okay, so we have, I can tell you what they are, how much, you, you've already discussed that, and how many people would be in the group are the ones that I see. So, um, oh, how many people would be in the group? So, I'm, I don't have, like a, a, like, a, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have no more than, let's say, 10 people on a call. So, my thought was, like, 20 to 25 people but you've got some people that want daytime and some people that want evening. So I don't, I don't know, like, I mean, what I'm, what I'm trying to keep it is to kind of like a smaller group, right. Where people are going to um, be able to share. And so how many people would be in the group at this point? That's a good question, Barb, but um, that's kind but of, it's not it's not like being in a Facebook group where there's 30,000. No, 000 this is not going to be like a 1,500 person or even 100, yeah. I don't think. So that's why, I mean, I think it's, it's a lot, it's a lot deeper. And um, I mean, I also know that some people are scared off from going deep. So I'm okay with that because I want people who want to be here. I want people who are ready to do the work and who are ready to, you know, it's, it's not just the, the investment in the program. It's the time investment in yourself, right? Cause it's, that's what this is because when you're invested and I don't mean just monetarily, when you're invested with your time, you're going to get more out of it. Cause you're going to, you're, you're going to invest more time into it. 
So, yeah, I, I, I would probably, I mean, that's what, what I'm hoping for is that no more than 10 people on a call so that everybody gets that individualized, like, questions and answers. Anybody have any other questions? I'm trying to see if there's anybody else on here. Oh, experienced dialysis with patients that struggle with their water crimes is killing me and causing depression. I saw La Latonya's question um, about getting, and so like, no, I don't have any medical background or anything. And so I'm not exactly understanding what specifically she's asking um, or how that works even, but... Um, so I don't know. Um, I mean, that's probably um, not not specifically Latanya, like not in the sense of. Um, I mean, am I experienced in depression? Yes, but am I specifically experienced in the dialysis portion? Um, like, no, and I'm I've got to be straight up on that because. Um, in terms of getting in your requirements, like that's gotta be hard. Like, let me just like go there for a second and empathize with you because if you're on dialysis, like you're probably having a hard time because you've gotta, you've gotta go in and kind of get that checked. Like if I understand what people are going through on dialysis, you're having, you know, your kidneys or your function, your kidney function is declining and um, that means that you're struggling with getting your water in because you're also the output, right? So um, in terms of that, like that's, that's probably something very different specifically. I don't know if you talk to a dietitian about that or a medical doctor. I mean, I would probably need to hear more about that to say definitively yes, but right now it's a no just because that is um that's like um like nikki said that's very medically specific right so if it's just something about like you know remembering to get your water in like you know like kristen i see you you have your stainless steel water bottle and so it's always sitting right there in front of you so you know, if it if it's a strategy like that then yeah i think something that we could help but if it's like a medical issue that's like outside of yeah like I, can I, I know that in one of your boxes there was that little thing right I forget what it's called because I don't use one but it's one of those it like dings if you if you haven't drank yeah, water in a while up. or right it lights up every 30 minutes and that's actually something that we have in the um in the new to the bench box so people that are just getting started it's their um it's, it's a tool that they have and it um i use mine every day it just kind of sits there and if you don't lift that bottle every 30 minutes it like just flashes you know you can use it at work because it doesn't make a sound but it'll just flash to remind you hey drink some water and it'll keep mm -hmm. on doing it until so i make a game of it try not to see that light the entire day so in order mm -hmm. to do that i have to drink some water all day and so it's really helped me so um you know that's a strategy that i use so reach out to me um if, you know, if that's something, if that's the type of thing that you're looking for, I can help with that. Yeah, yeah. And she's in the group, guys. Um, so if you have any other questions, um, I'm, I know one of the things that Barb asked was about the number of people. And the thing that I thought of is, if we have that many people signing up, I'm going to just add another group, right? I'm going to add another, like, group session. I wouldn't um, I wouldn't max out the the sessions that we have. You know what I mean? Like, I want it to be to be smaller so that people can can get their their needs tended to. So I've got the um, I'm putting the the I'm going to put our live. Um, well, it's not a live. I'm going to put our um, YouTube in the group. Um, and kind of announce, put it that in there, but this is my official announcement. Also guys, this weekend, um, <clears throat> I'm going to be at Southeast BSG.
talking about sex and dating after weight loss surgery. I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. I cannot wait for, for that talk. And um, I will also come back and share with you guys my little worksheet from that. Um, because every time I do a, a workshop, I have a worksheet. <laughs> So if anybody in here is single and dating or um, after weight loss surgery, go ahead and um, whether you can message me if you want or if you want to just post on my little um, thing after weight loss surgery, like, remember me. <laughs> so, um, but if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments because now I'm seeing the comments. I realized I wasn't seeing the comments before. And I will also post um, in here. I don't know if I'll make it a pin post because I really, I really want people to get my free meditation. But I guess I could pin it again at another time. But um, this live, and that way I can answer questions. And um, again, registration closes May 1st. And the reason I'm doing that is so that it's a closed group which I mentioned before, why closed groups are important, um, again, for the kind of the sanctity of the group and sharing with one another. So um, feel free if you guys have questions. You can also email me or message me. Um, my email is Kristen at bariatricmindset.com. And thank you, Nikki, again, for joining me. Not a problem. And then if you have questions for me, too, I'll, um, you can put them in the comments here, and I'll go through and um... – and check out her site if you haven't, mybariatricbox.com. Yep. <laughs> hey. All right, guys. Um, we've got from now until May 1st. Um, all the deets are in Six the days. Hmm? Six days. Counting Six down. Days. Six days. I'm ready. Starting in seven <laughs> days. So seven days from right now, we will have finished our first session. I know. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. We would have been done yeah. by 830. Woo, woo. Yep. All right, guys. <laughs> Um, thank you guys for joining me. I look forward to seeing you guys on the inside where we're going to work on some stuff. Have a great night. I will come back and see you guys live from Southeast VSG. Thank you, Nikki, for hopping on and Not a have a good night, guys. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye.